Uh, kia ora, uh, and welcome to another lesson in Level 2 NCA Physics. And this is a little trick um, that I used myself as a student uh, called Dimensional Analysis, and it helps you uh, work out if you've got the right units um, or not in answers, and if you're using the right equation, which just comes down as a very useful tool when you're doing uh, examination questions. So here's an example. So dimensional analysis, you start with a formula and then substitute the units into the variables. So let's begin with the top one. So velocity equals distance over time. So let's try and work out uh, the units um, for distance over time and make sure that that equation is the correct one. Okay, so distance is in meters, time is in seconds. So using doing a dimensional analysis, we can clearly see that our equation is right because velocity, the units are meters per second. But what about the second one? Is this formula valid? Distance equals acceleration over time. Okay, so our units for acceleration are going to be meters per second per second. Our time is going to be given in seconds. So if you do that, you get meters per second per second times seconds, which equals meters per second, one of those seconds cancels out. And we know that distance isn't measured in meters per second, so that means that that equation is incorrect. Distance does not equal acceleration over time, so we're going to choose a different equation. Okay, um, also in terms of dimensional analysis, we can use these equations with units that we know to find the units we don't. So say, well, I don't know what the units of um, momentum are. Well, we can use the equation and then substitute in the units. Okay, so for momentum, um, we know that the unit for mass is kilograms. And if we multiply it by the units for velocity, which is meters per second, we can get the units uh, for momentum, which are simply kilograms, meters, or times, meters per second. That's the units for momentum. Okay. And finally, a little tip there. Uh, we can also work out constants um, in terms of units. Okay, because constants have units as well. Uh, and that's what makes our equations valid. So we can work out the units uh, for constant. Okay. So we want to find G. Okay, so if we rearrange that equation, uh, G will equal F d squared over m1 times m2, and then we can just plug in the units. Okay, so the units of force are newtons. Um, the units of distance are meters, but we have two of them, so multiply together, meters squared. And then we will divide that by the uh, units of kilograms times units of kilograms, or kilograms squared. So our, our unit for our gravitational constant, capital G, is going to be Newton meters squared divided by kilograms squared. So yeah, dimensional analysis is a very, very useful tool uh, to just kind of get a feel of if I've got the correct units or if I've got the correct equation. Um, it's a little kind of double check uh, when you're going and doing your uh, examination questions. 